More now. Well, immigration obviously is now a major headache for a number of governors. At the National Governors Association meeting this weekend, it was the hot topic. Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman complained about 200 children that were sent to his state. He says Nebraskans have a right to know what the federal government is sending their way. We want to know the names of those individuals, who their sponsor is, is their sponsor legal, what communities did you send them to, why are they conducting a secret operation, essentially, transporting them all over the country, and now we learn to Nebraska, and the federal government won't tell us uh, what's going on. Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon is the former chairwoman of the National Governors Association, and she joins me now. Governor, welcome. Uh, good to have you, you here. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people in this country, uh, you know, just weren't aware of how this system works until this crisis began. You actually have federal planes that are meeting people at the border and buses and sending them to, you know, all parts of the country, and some, I, I think, have been proposed to be sent to Oklahoma as well, um, with, with no heads up to anybody, and they say that it's HHS says they have to protect the private privacy of the illegals. How does that work? Well, Martha, it's already happened in Oklahoma. In fact, we have around 1,100 unaccompanied minor children who have come to Oklahoma. In fact, they're actually 12 to 17 years of age. And, you know, we got gossip or word rumor of this about four weeks ago or so that we might be receiving some children in Oklahoma. But it wasn't until a, a Tuesday, a couple days later, that we had a national phone call that said that we would be receiving some of these children by Wednesday they were there and by Friday within a couple of days I went down to Fort Sill to see what was going to happen in our state you know first and foremost these are children so we want to make sure they're treated humanely but the real reason we have this crisis in the first place and why we're seeing these children sent across the nation and to Oklahoma is because we've had a failure with the administration on border security. We've sent a signal to the rest of the other countries in, that are in South America that we have amnesty if they want to send their children to the United States. And, of course, we're not securing our border. And so we have all those different things that are happening within our nation, which has allowed this huge influx that has shocked the nation, shocked certainly the governors, that are very concerned about the impact it's going to have on our individual states at a time when we have our own problems in our states. Yeah, of course. You know, and what, what kind of notification? You said there was a national phone call. How were you alerted? You know, Governor, this is who calling, saying, by the way, we're about to send busloads of people into your state. I was alerted through the media. The media heard rumors and gossip, and that's when I first got word. It was probably about some Friday to Tuesday until I actually got official word that they were coming to Oklahoma. And uh, it was quite a shock to us because, you know, it's a military installation that we're taking these children to. It's a community. And we had a lot of questions that were, un, you know, left unanswered. And so I went down there personally to ask questions. And on my visit, I was told I went to, to mm -hmm. record any conversations, ask any questions, take any pictures, you know, just be silent and have a quick tour and be out of there. But, of course, I asked questions. You know, I did talk to them. You know, I did want to see what was going on because I had to reassure my people. Well, I found out that, first of all, there was an outside organization that had been contracted by the federal government that had set up what they wanted me to see. I mean, I don't know what's behind the doors or behind the scenes, but what I saw was nice cots and sheets and blankets and a room with lots of, of different beds, boys and girls separated, activities for the kids, a health care clinic for initial screening of, of the health of the children's self. I saw caseworkers talking to the children, children calling home or talk, talking to their sponsor here uh, in the United States, and those are the things I saw. But since that time, the population has doubled in Oklahoma, and we've been we've told that about half of them have been released to sponsors. And my question is, as, as a mother, who are the sponsors? You know, is yeah. it a family member? Is it a relative? Is it someone that paid to have this child brought to the United States? Are they being trafficked here? How, how are they protected as they're coming from those different countries through, the, through Mexico and up to the United States? Lots of reports of sexual abuse, and probably we're hearing that there may be a lot of these young girls as young as 10 years old that may be pregnant now because of the abuse they received along the way. It's just a, a very disturbing situation. And, you know, the president needs to act. You know, we sent a, a terrible signal that the United States was open for these migrant children to come to the United States back when the president had his executive order in 2012 with the DREAM Act. So you know, we've got to send a strong signal. Don't send your children here. It's dangerous. It's, 
and uh, to get control of it. Yeah. It, it must be a strange situation to be the governor of a state and be brought into a facility in your own state and be sort of ushered through that and shown, you say, only what they want you to see. I mean, it, that, that, that seems really odd, doesn't it? Well, it is because I'm responsible for the state of Oklahoma. In fact, when I was told I could have a tour and I wanted to go and I took my health and human services uh, secretary, of secretary of health basically, because I was concerned about the health of the children. Yeah. You know, what are they bringing into Oklahoma, into our facilities, around our military installations, into our communities, and the workers that are there. But, you know, we were told not to ask any questions or take any pictures. So I asked my legal counsel, I said, look, I'm the commander in chief of our National Guard, uh, certainly of the governor of Oklahoma. Can I ask questions? And he said, you can, and whatever they do to you, they do to you. And I said, well, I'm going to because I have, I, I have the right to know and I need to be able to tell the citizens of our state what's going on. Have you tried to talk to the president or the White House about your concerns about health and all of these issues coming across your border? Absolutely. We, we did have our National Governors Association meeting, which I just finished my chairmanship of, and we were very... Um, Glad to be able to have a conversation with our new Secretary of Health and Human Services, Sylvia Burwell. Right. She's been put into a very difficult situation. She's been on the job about six weeks and has had to assume responsibility for this. But we had a pretty blunt uh, conversation with her just about the governor's concerns about yeah. our state, you know, the education system, the health. Uh, you know, are, are they being released to illegal immigrants that are already here in the United States, which we have found out, you know, the majority of them, almost, almost half are illegal immigrants that are here that they're going to see in the United States too. And then we'll have, uh, you know, all these kids, of course, going into the school system. There are some reports that they don't even know how old kids are. So some people say, I'm, I'm going into ninth grade and it's impossible to tell whether or not they're actually 16 or 17 or 18 uh, because they don't have the documents to prove their age. So, so many complicated issues here. Governor Fallon, thank you very much. Good to talk to you today. We'll see you soon, I hope. Okay, great talking to you.